Hi, science friends. Have you changed since I last saw you? Have you cut your hair, maybe grown? Hmm. Well, today we're going to talk about the kinds of changes that happen with matter. It's going to be so much fun, but safety first. So go get your science aprons, safety goggles, mom, dad, or another adult, and meet me back in the Beaker's lab. See you soon. Say see you soon. Lily. <laughs>lesson on matter, we talked about how matter can change from one state to another, from a liquid to a solid to a gas, and that is called a physical change. Can you say physical change? Good job. Well, today we're going to talk about different kinds of changes, physical and chemical. Can you say chemical? Good job. So if I cut my hair, is it still hair? Yes. So that's a physical change. It's different, it looks different, but it's still hair. If I tear my paper, is it still paper? Yes, it's smaller, but I can still write on it. I can still make a tiny paper airplane, but it is still paper. So that is a physical change. Now remember Molly, the molecule? She could change from a solid to a liquid to a gas. But no matter what form she was in, she was still the same molecule, H2O, or water, right? So she was making physical changes. Pretty cool. Let's see a chemical change. Now I am going to change the paper by burning it. I'm going to burn it, and I'm allowed to because I'm an adult. You're not going to burn paper because you're not an adult. Right, science friends? Right. Okay. So here I go. I'm going to burn the paper and see what kind of change happens. Okay, now what do we see on the end here? What is left? It's a different color, a changed color. We see some smoke. So those are interesting changes that happened. Now, what we call this on the end of the paper is ash. Can I write on that ash? No. Can I turn it into a paper airplane? No. So is it still paper? No, I changed it into something different. It's called ash now. That is a chemical change. Do you see the difference? Cool. All right. So we are going to be adding two things together to make something new. That's what we're going to be learning about today. And when we do that, it's called a chemical Reaction. Can you say chemical reaction? Great job. Are you ready to have fun and learn? Awesome. Let's go. Before we get started with our experiments, remember safety first. So be sure that you have your science apron and safety goggles and your adult with you. Okay. All right. When we get started, we're going to need our beaker, your gloves, your test tube with baking soda, test tube with vinegar, and we're ready to go. So in order to see a chemical reaction, we're going to start with a small combination. We're going to add a little bit of our baking soda. Don't need a lot. You want to save some for the rest of our experiments. And a little bit of vinegar. Now my scientific question is, what do you think is going to happen? Hmm, my best guess is that we're going to see something very cool. We're gonna see a reaction. Here we go. <gasps> bubbles! It's a reaction. Now those bubbles are actually creating or holding a gas. And it's a gas that you know. It's called carbon dioxide. Does it sound familiar? It should, because we've been talking about it for a few lessons now. So this gas, you can see it in the bubbles, but what you don't realize is that it's actually inside this whole beaker here. We just can't see it because it's invisible like the rest of our air. But we're going to try to catch it inside 
of this glove so that we can see it, okay? So we're gonna do more of what we just did now. Have your adult help you catch it because we're gonna have to catch it really fast, okay? All right, so let's do it again. We're gonna add more baking soda and more vinegar. and We're gonna put our glove on really fast to see if we can catch our carbon dioxide. Here we go. You get in there, baking soda. We're mad scientists mixing. We caught our CO2, carbon dioxide, in our gloves so that we could see how the gas likes to move up, 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 and keep expanding out. And we want to see now, with our next experiment, what would happen if we tried to trap that gas inside something small, like a canister. Now, you guys should have your canister inside of your fun science kit, so go ahead and get that out. You're also going to have a tablet that we're going to use to create that gas and we're gonna see what happens if we trap it inside. Now, if we had made enough gas, it might have blown this glove right off of our beaker. Pretty cool, right? So our scientific question is, if we trap the gas inside of this canister, will it find a way to escape? Hmm, I'm gonna make my guess, you make your guess. I want to know how many seconds you think it's going to take when we put this lid on for the gas to break free, okay? So you make your guess. I'm going to make my guess. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our solid tablet into our canister. We're going to add water to the canister. And when they mix, they're going to do a chemical reaction and they're going to make a gas. And we're going to trap that gas inside, okay? When we trap it like this, we got you, gas. Ha ha! You're never getting out now. And it's going to say, get me out of here. Let me out. And it's going to push, push, push on the top of the lid until it pops off. Okay? So how many seconds do you think it's going to take? What's your guess? I've got my guess. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? You better have your safety goggles on. Safety first, my friends. Don't want to lose an eyeball. Here we go. We're going to add the water. <gasps> now, while we wait, are you going to be a solid, a liquid, or a gas molecule? Let's see. If you're a solid, we do this, remember? Because they can't move. If you're a liquid, you're going to move like this. And if you're a gas, well, a gas can go anywhere like this. Okay, so you guys choose while we count. Now keep your eye on the counter. We're gonna see if your guess was right. Are you ready? Here we go. And the counter goes. Now step back. We wanna be safe. Are we watching? I'm gonna be a liquid. Liquid, liquid, we're watching, we're watching. The counter's going. That gas is building up. It's saying, get me out of here, get me out of here. What's going on in there? What's it doing? Lulu, can you see it? It's building up. It's building up. It's going to blow any second now. Oh, got to be a liquid. Got to be a liquid. What are you guys? Are you guys a solid? Are you a gas? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's building up. I can see it. Oh, boy. I'm so excited. What's yours doing? Are you watching it? Are you watching it? Are you counting? Oh. It's so amazing, Lulu. What's it doing? Sometimes I ask the gas nicely to come out. Please come out, gas. Please come out. Or we try an accent. Please, sir, come out and join us for a cup of tea. No, it's taking its time. Maybe it's taking a nap. Wake up. Wake up, gas. Hmm. Maybe I'll just pretend I'm not here. Maybe it's shy.
You did it! The gas escaped! Chemical reactions! Good job, scientists! You did it! Congratulations! I hope you had so much fun. I will see you next time in the Beaker's lab. Take care. Say bye, Lulu. See you later.